What is up you guys? It's your dude, Powerful Swordsman here, the dude with the attitude, giving you 15 things you didn't know about Jumpin' Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyway, to tell you the truth, no one hasn't done any Yu-Gi-Oh! facts, except for one channel I know, and they've done like 101 Yu-Gi-Oh! facts. But I'm gonna do facts about some characters and some animes, you know, like for example, Joey over here. If this vid goes well, then I'll definitely do some things you didn't know about Seto Kaiba as well. Because no one hasn't done any character facts for Yu-Gi-Oh! And you know what? I decided to give it a try. So, you know, I asked my friend to look up some facts, and, you know, he sent me a couple facts and write them down on a piece of paper, and I'm going to read them to you, basically basically, and just tell you these things that you didn't know about Joey Wheeler. So, you know, all thanks to my friend, I was able to get this video started, so let's go. 15 things you didn't know about Joey Wheeler. Now, as I said, if this vid goes well, I'll give you things you didn't know about Seto Kaiba as well. Let's get it on. 15. Yugi and Joey's names mean friendship. The name Joey Wheeler was an invention of the English dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! that was first coined in the 4 kids localization of the show. It is an attempt to analogicalize character's Japanese name which is Jonichi Katsuya. In both cases, the first two letters of his names are significant. The Japanese word for friendship is Yujo. This is partly why Yugi and Joey slash Jonichi are named the way they are as the beginnings of both of their names equate to friendship. Yu-Gi-Oh! once featured a card that referenced the connection between both characters' names. It was called Yujo Friendship and it depicted Yugi and Joey holding hands. This is actually a controversial card that is banned in most tournaments. It involves asking the other player for a handshake which they can refuse. If you have a card called Unity on the field, then it says that they must accept the handshake. So what if they still refuse? Do they lose the game? What if you spit on your hand first? 14. The Different Cards of Battle City one of the new rules introduced during the Battle City story arc was that all participants had to offer up an ante with each match. When you entered a duel with another person, then you both had to offer up your rarest card as a prize. This allowed the main character to earn new cards throughout the tournament, which they would then use in the finals. During Joey's matches in Battle City, he faced off against powerful duelists like Esper, Roba, and Mako Tsunami, Mako Tsunami. He managed to win both of these matches and claim the Jinzo and the Legendary Fisherman cards for his own. In the original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga, these cards worked very differently. Jinzo was originally a level 7 monster which requires two tributes to summon the Legendary Fisherman, was originally level 4 which can be summoned without tribute. These monsters were changed in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and card games so that Jinzo was level 6 and the Legendary Fisherman was level 5 which meant they both acquired a single tribute to summon. This meant that Joey's battles throughout the series had that involved these cards had to be rewritten for the anime. 13. Joey's American Cousin The fate of Joey Wheeler after the end of the original iteration of Yu-Gi-Oh! is unclear in terms of the series chrono chronology. He is last seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions after they graduate from high school. Joey and the rest of the gang tearfully see Taya off at the airport. Joey is referred to several times in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX as one of the best duelists in the world. Though he is never seen on screen, the ultimate fate of Joey is unknown, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is set in the far future of the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. With the planet almost being at Mad Max levels of post-apocalyptic apocalyptic horror, this means that the cast of the original series have long since passed away with Pegasus being confirmed as having died long ago. As there, in a, it, as there, the, as there is a memorial foundation in his honor, despite this, the English localization of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds changed the identity of one of the characters to make him Joey's cousin, an unnamed duelist in the G Japanese dub and referred to as Jesse Wheeler, the cousin of Joey. Joey's voice actor provided the voice for Jesse. This was an invention of the English dub and Joey has no known cousin especially incredibly long-lived ones in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime or manga. 12. Who won the duel? Joey Wheeler loses his most prized card, the Red-Eyes Black Dragon, just before the start of the Battle City story arc. He loses it to a member of Marek's Rare Hunters who uses fake copies of the Exodia cards to win. Yugi later defeats the Rare Hunters and wins the Red-Eyes Black Dragon card for himself. He offers to return to Joey who refuses, stating that he will only take it back through victory at the end of the story arc. 
We see that the final duel of the Battle City Tournament takes place between Joey and Yugi, though we never see the results. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, it is pretty clear that Joey won the duel. He is seen using the Red Eyes Black Dragon card from this point on which suggests that he defeated Yugi and took the card as his prize via the Ante rule. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga isn't as clear on the issue as neither Yugi nor Joey used the card after Battle City. Yugi uses the card during his duel against Kaiba in the Battle City semi-finals, which is the last time it ever appears. 11. The Voice of Joey Wheeler The voice of Joey Wheeler has always been provided by Wayne Grayson, who is best known for his work with 4 Entertainment. Not only has he provided voices for many characters throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, but he also appeared in shows like Pokemon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and One Piece. Wayne Grayson returned to the role of Joey Wheeler in 2016 when Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions was released. Wayne Grayson hasn't left the voice of Joey for long, however, as he has been a guest at many anime and gaming conventions in the past, the original cast of Yu-Gi-Oh! have remained popular with the fans over the years, so there has always been an audience for them at cons. He also appeared at Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments where he will provide the voice of Joey Wheeler as a part of script duels with the other voice actors from the show. If you ever wanted to know what it would sound like if Joey had battled, battled Pegasus, then this cringy worth clip has you covered. 10. The Millionaire Dollar Duelist The first story arc of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series was the Duelist Kingdom. This was the name of a tournament that was sponsored by Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters, which was held on a private island. Yu-Gi is forced to enter as Pegasus had stolen his grandfather's soul. Pegasus did this because he wanted to take control of Yui's Millennium Puzzle. Joey Wheeler also enters the tournament as he wants to win the prize money. Pegasus offered two prizes for the winner of the Duelist Kingdom Tournament. The first was the title of King of Games, and the second was $3 million. Joey only cared about the money as he needed that amount to pay for his sister Serenity's eye operation, as she would lose her sight without it. $3 million might seem like an excessive amount for an eye operation, well maybe not. When Obamacare is replaced, World War repealed, and it is in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga series, the pr prize was 3 million yen, which is around $30,000. 9. Mokuba almost murdered Joey Mokuba Kaiba is a lot more innocent than his older brother. This is partly because Mokuba is allowed to be nicer as Kaiba has to run a million, multi-millionaire dollar business. Willis resisting taking over attempts by others in the company. Mokuba is the one person in the world that Seto seems to care about. This has forced Seto and Yugi to go on numerous rescue missions as Mokuba has tendency to get kidnapped by the villains of the show. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga series was a lot darker than the anime with the Pharaoh straight up murdering people who didn't confer confirm to the rules of this game. Of his game, basically. Mokuba was also a lot more vicious in the manga as he almost murdered Joey during their first meeting. Yugi and Joey are invited to the Kaiba home in the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. Mokuba offers them food on a turntable, which Joey eats. It is revealed that Mokuba had fed poisonous food to Joey and would only give him the antidote if Yugi could win a game of poison food Russian Roulette. Yugi was able to complete the game and save Joey. Mokuma mustn't be too worried about murdering a high school student in his dining room. 8. Joey and the Forbidden Cards The real-life Yu-Gi-Oh! card game has a number of cards that are restricted for use in official tournaments. These are either limited to one or two in your deck or are banned completely. This was originally brought in due to the overpowered Yatagarasu card, which dominated the tourn tournament scene during its initial release. The list still persists to this day with popular cards from the anime like Pot of Greed and Monster Reborn being banned. One of the complaints about the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime was that it didn't match the rules of the actual card game. This changed somewhat in the Battle City when Kaiba brought in new rules that more closely managed, well matched the real life version of the game. The first time that the idea of banned cards was brought up in the anime was during the duel between Yugi and the brainwashed Joey. Joey's deck was filled with spell cards that dealt direct damage to the enemy. Kaiba had officially outlawed these cards in Battle City, which means that Joey was unwittingly cheating throughout the duel. 7. Joey's Famous Chin 
Joey Wheeler has endured in the minds of Yu-Gi-Oh! fans since the show ended and was replaced with GX in recent years he received the resurgence of popularity on the internet due to some incredibly creepy faces he used to pull in the anime. At various points in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series, series, Joey would be pull a weird face when he was sure he was going to win or was bragging about his skills. This face made his chin incredibly pointy and gave him what can only be described as a child molester eyes. Joey's chin, or rather Jonichi's chin, became the source of a popular internet meme in Japan, where his pointy chin was added onto the faces of other anime characters. This meme was a huge hit on Twitter in 2014 and eventually made its way overseas with America, with Americans getting in on the fun of exploiting Joey's creepy face and pointy chin. Seriously, you see it all over the internet, bro, I'm not lying. 6. The Fate of Mai and Joey in the Battle City Tournament, both Mai Valentine and Joey Wheeler lose to Yami Marek, a spirit which is in possession of Marek's body. These duels are some of the most horroring of the series as they, as they take place within the Shadow Realm. Yami Marek uses the power of his Millennium Rod to exact tortures on his foes. Neither Mai nor Joey possess a Millennium Item of their own to counteract the effects of the Shadow Realm. This is the reason that Joey lost as he almost beat Marek but passed out from the pain before he could give his final command to attack. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh! video game released for the Game Boy Advance called Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. This game stared, stared a new character who enters the Battle City Tournament. As this character enters the finals, he changes up the order of the duels in this game. Mai loses to Kaiba in the first round. Joey faces Yami Marek in the first round and suffers the same fate as Mai does in the anime slash manga. Joey is put into a coma with his thoughts slowly being devoured. Number 5. The Joey Games The success of the Pokemon franchise was one of the main reasons that Yu-Gi-Oh! saw a release in the West. Pokemon helped to bring anime into the mainstream and production companies went looking in Japan for similar series that they could release in an effort to try and mimic Pokemon's success. The Yu-Gi-Oh! video game have occasionally came in separate versions in the same way that the Pokemon series usually breaks up each generation into two or three games in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. In Yu-Gi-Oh!'s case, the games were based on the characters from the anime. Joey had, the, had been the mascot character of two different Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. One of them was Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 4. Battle of the Great Duelist, which came in three different versions that had unique cards. Yugi slash Slifer appeared in the first, Kaiba slash Obelisk in the second, and Joey slash Ra in the third. These games were released for the Game Boy Color, and they never left Japan. There were also there were there there was a series of Yu-Gi-Oh games for the PC called The Power of Chaos. The third game in the series was called Yu-Gi-Oh Power of Chaos. Joey the Passion. This game allowed you to duel against Joey who was voiced by Wayne Grayson of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. 4. The Gambling Duelist Joey's parents are mentioned a few times in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series when he was a child. His parents were divorced, his mother left taking his sister Serenity with her. Joey was left with his father of whom we know almost nothing about. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga in the original anime series, that was produced by Toei, we do get a brief glimpse of Joey's father according to these source materials. Joey's father was an alcoholic gambler who was likely physically abusive to his son. As he threw a bottle at Yugi and the rest of the gang, this is said to be the reason why Joey hadn't spoke to his mother for so long. The fact that Joey's father was a gambling addict addict may explain why Joey uses cards based on chance within his deck. Joey uses cards like the Time Wizard, Skull Dice, Graceful Dice, and the Roulette Spider in his deck. These all possess an element of chances relying on either coin flips or dice rolls, and they usually work in Joey's favor. This might be a commentary on the author's part about the nature of luck, as Joey only relies on these cards for the benefit of his family and friends, which will as his father gambles for money. 3. Brooklyn Manners when the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series was, lo was localized into English, the people responsible for the dub changed the location of the show from Japan to America. The show is set in Domino City which is referred to as being in the old United States of America. Luckily, the series didn't go into Japan's, well, into Japanese culture or school life. 
That much so, it was an easy thing to gloss over. Joey Wheeler speaks with a thick Brooklyn accent, which makes more sense if the series is set in America. Joey's voice actor, Wayne Grayson, is from New, New York, so at least the accent is somewhat genuine. There is actually a reason that Joey has a Brooklyn accent in the original Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! manga series. Joey speaks without honorifics, which is an incredibly rude way of speaking. The Brooklyn accent was chosen to represent this in the English dub. This is also the reason that Bakura speaks with a British accent as he uses an overly polite way of speaking in the Japanese version of Yu-Gi-Oh! And a post-English accent was how they chose to emulate it. Number two, the number one censorship. Oh damn. As the English dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! was provided by 4Kids Entertainment, the show underwent many unnecessary forms of censorship. Everything from realistic guns to the exposed cleverages of some of the bustier, bustier characters had to be removed or shot shottedly edited over. This was one of the inspirations for the acclaimed Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series, which have, the, which have often mocked the heavy-handed censorship that was done by 4Kids. One of the most unusual things to ever be censored in Yu-Gi-Oh! happened in the 17th episode of the anime. In the Japanese version of the episode, Joey needs to pee, so he separates himself from the group to do it in private. This allows Bandit Keith's men to get the well, to get the jump on him. In the English dub language version of the episode, Joey just sort of runs away from the group without explanation. The fact that Joey needed to empty his bladder was considered to be too hot for TV. 1. The Strength of Joey The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! is a man named Kazuki Tagahashi. He, star he started out as a guy who wanted to break into the manga industry as both a writer and an artist. The idea for Yu-Gi-Oh! originally came about because he wanted to do a battle manga series where the main character who never physically hit his opponent. Yu-Gi-Oh! originally focused on numerous different games before the initial version of Duel Monsters appeared in the story. The fans bombarded the author with questions about this game, and it soon grew to dominate the series. This led to Yu-Gi-Oh! becoming the most popular trading card game in the world. Mizuki Takahashi has stated in interviews that he believes Joey slash Junichi to be the strongest character in the series due to the fact that he does not rely on magic or money to solve his problems. He has also said that he managed to convey everything that he wanted to say in Yu-Gi-Oh! through Joey's character. It is for these reasons that Joey is the most important character in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well there you have it guys. That's my whole 15 things you didn't know about Joey Wheeler. To tell you the truth, some of it, you know, there are all these 15 things you didn't know about Joey Wheeler, my friend decided to give me some of these and, you know, tell me about them. And to tell you the truth, he got them from a website, basically. That's basically the truth. You know, he decided to just borrow some, you know, let me use them. And because of that, well, basically you just don't, like, get these information from your head. You just don't, like know it like that. Some people have, like to tell you the truth, some people search this information up on the internet. My friend did that and you know, he just said, maybe you should do 15 things about Joey Wheeler. You know, 15 things people don't know about Joey Wheeler. And because we don't really see any Yu-Gi-Oh facts over the internet, except for um, from um, basically the Cartoon Channel, basically, where they usually do facts and all that stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh. They did one fact about Yu-Gi-Oh, like 101 I think, or 100. But what I want to do is facts about the characters itself. So. I don't know if this one will go well, but if it does, then I'll be uploading, um, you know, more facts and things you didn't know about Seto Kaiba as well. So, I don't know if this one went well, though, but thanks for watching. Powerful Swordsman, out.